very creative for sure. But Washington, they'll show a mix of zone and man. And you see a little zone here out of the gates for the home team as Lujas gets in there. They like to get up and down the floor. Inside, here's Collier. She puts it off. Nice find from Juhas. And Brittany Sykes took a shot to the throat. But that time, she just barreled her way into the paint. Clap. Collier in the passing lane got the deflection on the move in transition. Cloud able to defend in transition, forced the miss. Sykes. As Collier got a piece of that bounce pass. She's ready to perform and she's ready to fit into her role here in DC. Ariel Powers into the ball game and knows these rims very well. That she helped become grown women during their formative years as college players as Walker Kimbrough, Kimbrough gets set to check in. Yeah, absolutely, as Minnesota scores on the run out. And I love that Ariana asked about who she's cheering for. She has two kids, two twin boys, Marcus and Tyler. And she just loves watching them play too. And her presence, I mean, she's a leader on this floor. She's the straw that stirs the proverbial drink for the Mystics. And she is much needed on the floor, whether she's scoring the ball or not. So people are running her off the line, but she's making shots. Dr. Kimbrough jumper doesn't go. Finds Allen attacking. Collier blocks that one. And great things happen when you do those couple of things. For Washington, they have to stay focused. Collier gets that to drop in, even with a double team. Yeah, in the first half in that Las Vegas game, they were 0 of 13 in that first half alone. There's Collier, she knocks it down. And that thing is so smooth. And that has waves and repercussions to it. Everybody sees that she can do it at not 100%, and they're 100%, so they're gonna go even harder. And she's just so smart on the defensive end. Miller off the kick. Got that to go, gets it down to a 10-point lead for Minnesota. Jumbled messes, things kind of fell on the wayside in the month of August. Collier follows it and finishes. How did she do that? That was some good-looking basketball, and that is what you do. You rely on Nafisa Collier to make those really difficult shots. Howard sneaks by, but Collier, the last line of defense, sends it away. Missed some time with injury this year, but great young player as Collier takes her time and she's unstoppable from the block. Yeah, both teams are struggling right now when they get towards the end of the shot clock. Milic by herself shakes the defender with a beautiful pump. Collier being guarded by Ami here. She gets lost, dumping it down, and the layup is good. Milic adding more to the bench. But it is impressive the skill set you have to have to be good at that. The communication, the quick. Blocked by Collier, her third on the fadeaway against the 6-2 Howard. A place where Minnesota needs to take advantage when their defense is creating those turnovers. And McBride says, here's a path for you. She's gone cold, but Minnesota keeps it. She wants it back right into Howard and one. We'll find a way to score. Nafisa Collier uses her body. Minnesota trying to battle right back with Atlanta. Up game number two, but trying to avoid that ignominious sweep. Collier backing down, falling away. Perfect. Takes a bump there from Gray. Still gets free. Collier along the baseline. She's got it plus the foul. In this building, but look at the move here from Nafisa Collier. The strength and the ability to finish. Boy, this team won. Mitchell keeps it at four. And Parker, it was cleared out but poked away. Collier facing up, wants to take Gustafson off the dribble. What's good? And I mentioned 
Candace Parker and Asia Wilson, the only other rookies to have that kind of game their rookie season. The back door is there, and so is the foul for McBride. As players on the team just having at it, just good communication, moving towards the basket. Nice job by McBride, and she's pleased. Different is this team from that 0-6 start that they were, and they all kind of say, the players, Coach Reeve, all say the same thing, that they all kind of knew they were going to come out of that. Lisa Collier with another block. The Mercury, meanwhile, will take that free throw. They've missed six of their last seven from the floor. Knocked away, will stay right here with 14 on the clock. Juhas in transition, Collier gives it a look. There's that step back. Good looks at the basket, just their ability or their inability to finish has been a problem. Finishing there, Tiffany Mitchell from long range. Powers turning on the Jets, finds Juhas looking for that long range stroke, not there. How about Nafisa Collier overpowering? And Uwede's got nine right now, he's cooled off, scoring from the first quarter. His feet drops it off beautifully to Milic. Vision is she's trying to figure out what to do, sharing the ball, moving it, all the passing, and then a beautiful finish. Double team comes quickly. Collier turning on the Jets, looking for Carlton, yes! I think one of her greatest moments, and that's saying a lot. Here's McBride launching the three, it's good! And that is just making such a huge difference for Minnesota when the bench contributes 21 points. Up for grab! So smooth on the offensive end of the floor. Jefferson against Collier and blocked. She knew that move.